held by the Lloyd Minster and District Fish and Game Association, the Gun and Outdoor Sportsman Show will be set up in the Service Sports Center, taking place January 21st and the 22nd. So um, we've got a lot of lo vendors coming from all over the place. Uh, they have firearms, ammo, reloading supplies, there's taxidermy, there's furs, there's even spices for your meats. It, there's so much coming. It's really great. Including everything that is available to purchase and see at the show this year, they have important guests to oversee the sales of firearms. We're very excited. This is the first year that we've actually had the Alberta CFO come. So that's the chief firearms officer. So we, they're sending two officers down to answer some of the questions about the new recent firearms bans and some of the bills that are going through. Um, they're also going to help some of the vendors uh, verify some of the pals and get these guns out the door a little bit faster, too. With two police officers present at the show, they will be explaining and showing new paperwork in ordinance with the new bill C-21, as well as explaining to both customers and vendors the new changes with the Canadian PAL system, changes that not all firearm owners agree with. Guys now come in if they want to buy a gun here, we have to phone in and uh, get a number from the government and, uh, or email in to them. And we get this number and that number says his pal is good enough that he can buy a gun or it's not good enough they feel that there's an issue and they don't allow him to buy a gun. So there's things that you need to know um, even to go to the gun show, like make sure your pals are 100% done in full. If you do not have an email address attached to, to your pal, you get it done now because you will have issues if you do not have an email address. Many Canadian firearm owners have differing opinions on the gun restriction policy now including certain hunting rifles as well as shotguns. Take the money away from banning all of these hunting guns and all that kind of stuff. Use that money to turn it around and go after the criminals that are using them. But most Canadians are excited for the gun show's return after its three-year hiatus. Everybody from all different types coming. Uh, lots of females coming these days, so that's really great to see out there. We got lots of young guys, lots of old guys for sure. There are a lot of avid shooters out there, so pretty much everybody. A door prize of a hunting rifle will be given away, and the winner holding a valid pal will be drawn on February 18th. Zach Kenny, Primetime Local News.